Welcome to another flip class with Mr. Wilson. Uh, we are getting into food labels. Uh, later on, we'll be getting into uh, nutrition labels. Uh, so first things first, we want to know the truth behind food labels. Many times when we buy food from the store, uh, we can get tricked or fooled into buying things that look like they're healthy. But really, if you search a little deeper, you'll find out that the food or the drink uh, that you're actually about to purchase is actually unhealthy. Um, so the first truth behind food labels, okay, is don't be fooled by the big letters on the front of the package. Look for the label on the back instead. As you can see from this fruit juice right here, it says fruit punch, and it's got fruits on the front of the package, which leads you to believe that this might be or is a healthy drink. But when you look at the ingredients and you see things like sweeteners and high fructose corn syrup, you then understand that it's not as healthy as it looks. On the other hand, when you see something that's not as glamorous, sunny start orange juice, all right, we see that it contains 100% juice. Uh, the ingredients are apple juice, pear juice, grape juice. Uh, and these ingredients uh, are definitely more uh, healthy than those that are in this. So, the first truth that you want to know is don't be fooled by the big letters in front of the package. Look for the label on the back instead. The label will always reveal the truth. Okay, the second truth behind food labels. Okay, the second truth behind food labels. The first ingredient is always the biggest. Okay, you see all these ingredients listed. Many times, we don't even read all of the ingredients that are listed, okay? But the important thing you need to know is that the first ingredient is always the biggest. And then so on and so forth, the second ingredient and the third ingredient, um, that's how much of that ingredient is in whatever food or drink you are purchasing, right? So for whatever uh, food or ingredient uh, this food label belongs to, we see that sugar is the number one ingredient because it, it is the first ingredient on the food label. Okay, the third truth behind food labels. The third truth behind food labels. Okay, avoid partially hydrogenated oils, high fructose corn syrup, and artificial flavors. Okay, avoid partially hydrogenated oils, high fructose corn syrup, and artificial flavors. Okay, on your homework assignment, you'll see um, after the last question, you have a bonus area. Okay, and that bonus area is giving you a chance to dive deeper into this quest or into this third truth um, so that you can search a little bit on your own uh, and explain in class um, exactly what it means hydrogenated oils, um, etc. All right, so that is number three. Avoid partially hydrogenated oils, high fructose corn syrup, and artificial flavors. All right, the fourth tr truth behind food labels, okay? The fourth truth is to make sure that you're avoiding a long ingredient list. Extremely long food labels usually means the product is unhealthy and it is a bad choice, okay? So when you see a food label that has all of these ingredients... Okay, and especially a, a majority of the ingredients, it's hard for you to pronounce. It usually means that that is an unhealthy choice. Okay, but if your food label is short, okay, and you can actually pronounce all of the ingredients with ease, it is usually a better choice as far as food and drink. So those are the four truths concerning uh, food labels. Please re uh, go back. In this foot class, if you need to hear something again, we will be going over this uh, in class tomorrow. Uh, and this, these questions will give you the keys uh, to actually be a part of Fitness Fridays. Um, those that complete the bonus question at the end have the opportunity to receive uh, some blue tickets uh, for the second trimester uh, field trips. Have a great night, and I will see you tomorrow in school.